So now we go to discuss the frozen stores and frozen transport transportation under frozen condition. And this storage under frozen condition. This is some example of frozen storage. Okay. So before we do frozen stores, we need to do uh, freezing properly. We already discussed freezing. Basically, we can distinguish between slow freezing and and what fast freezing and even ultra fast freezing. We already discussed that. So depending on the food, depending on the Matters as we do freezing, it can be slow, it can be fast, or it can be flash freezing. We discuss about instrument in the next slides. And we already discussed what are the effects, possible effects of slow and fast freezing and so on. Which one is more advantageous, which one have some limitations in terms of impact to the food. So during the frozen star, we have to make sure that we allow the movement of air among boxes of the product. So if you stack your product like this, then the cold air cannot ventilate through the boxes and then the port inside may be, will not be maintain the temperature, the low temperature very well, for example. Okay. And we also try to limit the evaporation and the freezer burn. How to reduce the evaporation or sublimation and freezer burn? To prevent freezer burn, you remember we have to do packaging. What is, what is the cause of freezer burn? Evaporation or sublimation. Conversion from ice to vapor and you lose the water for a long term, then maybe you will have freezer burn. We also be careful of the greenhouse effect. This normally occur in a supermarket, for example, where they put the food in your freezer, but the cover is made by glass, so people can see, can look, see the product inside, like this. So for this type of freezer uh, or frozen store, you may have you call a greenhouse effect. This is because the heat transfer by radiation. What are the three mechanisms of heat transfer? Conduction, convection, and radiation. So heat can transfer through variation. The heat from here can transfer through the food. Even the temperature in the freezer is low, but the temperature of the food may increase because of the radiation. Radiation is a mechanism of heat transfer that doesn't need any material. In vacuum, the heat can be transferred. What is conduction? For example, conduction means if you have a bar of metal and you heat it here, you hold your finger here, you heat it here, but after a while, you feel hot at your hand. Then this is conduction because the heat at this molecule, we transfer to here and transfer to here. So the heat we transfer, but there is no movement of material. It's conduction. Convection, for example, when you boil water, when you heat here, you boil your water, then there's a movement of water. The here, hot water will move up and go around like this. So there is a movement of material, and this is convection. Radiation. The heat we transfer through like wave, like radiation, like light, photon of light, for example. And then for this, you don't need anything to transfer the heat. For example, here you put a metal, high temperature. Here you put a piece of metal, low temperature. After a while, the heat can transfer from this to this by radiation. And this environment contains nothing. This is vacuum. But the heat can still be transferred, and this is called radiation. Okay, and this make us call greenhouse effect. This happened with the uh, global warming, you know, in the whole Earth from the sun to the earth. Okay, and for uh, frozen transport, that we have to use cold truck like this. The truck would is equipped with a cooling system here. Okay, as you see, 
and this one will blow out the cold air to the food and bring back the air here and the air lose heat to the evaporator of the machine here we will discuss later and then the air is cool again it's look like this so normally the truck like this the power of cooling is not so strong if you open the door for a long time to upload the product for example if you open for a long time the temperature in here will go up high and it takes quite a long time to go down again uh, because the, the power of the system is not strong because the objective of the truck is just to maintain low temperature not to freeze the food so be careful when we open the door for uh, a long time or we just open and close many times we, uh, we may regain the heat from environment and the temperature can go up and down in this case you call this temperature abuse fluctuation in temperature if that occur very often and for a long time your food may be get melted when your food get melted and you put in here you carry for a long way it's get frozen again like you freeze the food again but this one is fast freezing and slow freezing very slow actually like i told you the power of this system is not strong from your factory you have fast freezing but here if your food get melted and it get frozen again in here then you have slow freezing very slow freezing and that is not good for the food as we already discussed in previous parts